Hello, welcome to Pinball Mayhem. This is Booze Barometer Part 2. I have it completely disassembled. Uh, and uh, let me show you all the fun parts over here. Uh, it, it's completely disassembled. Everything is clean. It's ready to go back together. Uh, what I did do is I, I, I put a lock in there. I hammered out as much as I could to flatten it. If you look on the inside, the striker, I had to cut a notch. It's just a standard lock. Uh, works works pretty good. Uh, I did a just a wipe down on the inside. I didn't want to get too haywire. I'm not uh, not repainting this. I'm not restoring it completely. I'm well fixing it up and making it a nice. But I, I wanted to have the original patina to it. Um, the uh, light bulbs. I'm still going to address the electrical later. And uh, this panel is right here. Uh, it's kind of interesting. So the the drunken guy and the booze barometer back are interchangeable, but the rest of it, you know, doesn't say the name of it on there. So it must have been other uh, options available for uh, the operator just to uh, change out that plastic and the metal plate or the decal, and it'd, it'd be good. What I did is I cleaned everything with Awesome to get the nicotine off, and uh, I went over all the metal pieces. The this guy and the cabinet with just a little bit of uh, carnauba wax like I do for a play field. I figure, you know, you, you just to protect it a little bit, give a little bit more sheen, uh, and it, it turned out pretty good. Then I, I took the bolts that, uh, these are all the bolts that go around the holes here, uh, and I, I took and I cleaned them off with a Dremel with a little uh, wire brush. I just gave them a coat of some uh, dark paint I had. This is a, I think it's supposed to be a hammer tone oil bronze, of course, or something small like that. It's not going to hammer tone, but just a, a dark, but I didn't want black black if I could avoid it. So just kind of that little speckle, if you look at it, they're all stuck in there. Now to paint little screws like this, just take a piece of cardboard, poke it with a, a nail. Uh, don't poke yourself. And uh, then just kind of carefully jam them in there. Now make sure their, their heads are up a bit. And then when you spray it, spray it from all four angles. I like to uh, do a good enough job so I don't have to do it again. Reason, I don't want a lot of buildup on these because they're, they're fasteners. And uh, what I did for the, the ones for the, uh, the plate here is because you know, they're all supposed to be nickel plated. Uh, of course, to find a small uh, 632 carriage bolt like this is going to be impossible. And as, if I'm not restoring it, so I'm not going to start going online and ordering hardware. So these, I took and I um, cleaned them off with the wire wheel and the Dremel again. But then I took and uh, buffed them with a buffing wheel and chrome polish. Uh, then I soaked them in alcohol to get all that off of it and uh, put it into a, my ultrasonic cleaner and a, little, and a little beaker just to clean the rest of it off. Wiped it clean and hit it with a, just a shot of clear coat. So it, it will uh, it will kind of stay shiny. This is like I said, this is not going to be perfect. So um, this piece I use this called Metal Rescue Rust Remover Gel. You brush it brush it on and you wrap it with you wrap it with Saran wrap, and you give it 24 hours and it took the rust off. Now you notice those valleys had a lot of rust in them, or a little bit of rust buildup. One thing is I'm not sure if it took off the galvanizing or if it just was worn off and not rusting, but it does look like it had a lot less galvanizing. And the trick with that stuff is to keep it wet. It was some spots that dried out, so when I, you rinse it with regular water down a normal sink. I did it yesterday and put the gel back on it for another hour or two to loosen up what was still stuck, and uh, that came um, came loose. See the rest of the parts all polished up. Uh, I did coat these with a, with a coat of grease just to keep it from rusting again. A lot of parts went through the ultrasonic, uh, cleaned up. I got everything ready to go. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the original the original um, rubber or if I'm going to use this clear stuff. Clear stuff might look a little nicer. and I can always change it to, back to the original. The only thing with the, with the brand new stuff is uh, I got three different sizes. I'm not sure which one's going to clear the nut. Um, it's a little bit different thickness of the wall. So the wall is a little thinner, so it might just not butt up as well. Uh, so I, I'll see how it, how it turns out. I tried to keep as many parts separate. All these bins have all the hardware for each stage. And, um, this polished up real nice. This uh, I took this. This is the reject lever. I took that off. It's just held in by a cotter pin. Uh, and I'm not going to flip this whole thing around, but uh, to 
to get to the other two bolts, you can get to two of these easily on the back side. The other two nuts you can't. You do as you do the two you can't get easily, then the whole mechanism comes off. It's only held on by those two. And then the other two will be to remove the plate. Last couple parts, I took this, cleaned it off with a awesome again, and I took a Novus too. Now that you notice it's a little cockled looking. Uh, the whole front is decaled, not just the yellow line. So it's a painted, a printed decal that they put on it. And you know, it's not perfectly shiny like the plastic. So I cleaned the back with Novus 1, cleaned the front with Novus 2, buffed it out real good. And uh, the base, as we mentioned before, was completely rotten. So here's the new base. Uh, I'm working on putting a couple coats of poly on it and uh, turning out uh, pretty nice. I didn't want to go with a quite a, I wanted to go with a, a more of a brown rather than a reddish brown stain. Uh, if you notice some some discoloration in the stains here, that's going to be covered up. Um, but that is the uh, based off the original size, and it just uh, going to get a couple more coats. Have the rest of it put together. Hopefully, put the base on sometime this week. I uh, will do a follow up. I'm also planning on doing a little bit of maybe uh, putting the lights are kind of dim, so I want to hook it up to a power brick, and I might do uh, some other fancy stuff with it at that time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next part, part three on Booze Biometer. Hopefully we'll be together and working and I'll let you know what challenges I run into putting it back together. Thank you.